a hard substance, black in color, used in cooking of food, running of engines, train engines, and yeah, as you know, petroleum. Petroleum means petrol. You know, it helps in running of the vehicles. So, have you ever thought how the vehicles run? Do they eat food like us? Do they eat food like animals? No, right? They run on the basis of some fuel. Their fuel may be either coal, petroleum, diesel, or natural gas. Natural gas is also known as CNG. So, do you know what is the rate of petrol going on nowadays? So, after Narendra Modi has come, has the rate of petrol and diesel come down or come up? And do you know what is the cost of CNG per kg? Many autos nowadays, maybe the autos you travel to school, you commute to school, maybe they will run by CNG. So, do you know what is the cost of CNG per kg? So, vehicles, vehicles run with the help of fuels. Those fuels, examples may be petrol, diesel or compressed natural gas or maybe coal also. So, after completion of this lessons, what are the objectives of lessons? After the completion of this lesson, you will be able to define natural resource and its types. Then you will describe coal and its products. Then you will be able to describe petroleum and its refining process. And then you will also know about various constituents of petroleum and its uses. And you will also describe what is a natural gas and its uses. So when you are talking about natural, natural resources, natural means which is anything freely available in the nature around us. So what are the examples of natural resources? It can be coal, natural gas, petroleum, coal tar or the byproducts of coal. So natural resources. Natural resources are classified on the basis of availability in the nature, the availability around us. So they are of two types, exhaustible and non-exhaustible, inexhaustible. So what do you understand by exhaustible? Exhaustible means they can be over at any time. They can get complete at any time. So exhaustible resources are always limited. They are not freely and always available. They will be limited. They may be completed and finished sometime. The quantity may be completed at some time. They get exhausted. So the examples of exhaustible natural resources are gas, wildlife, forests. Wildlife means animals and everything comes under wildlife. Forests, trees, then minerals, minerals in the earth, then coal and then petrol and its products. So on the basis of availability, natural resources are of two types, exhaustible and not inexhaustible. Exhaustible resources are always limited and they can get completed, exhausted at any time. They can be finished, they can be no longer available. So the examples of exhaustible resources are gas, wildlife and forest and petrol, minerals and coal. You can also take an example of exhaustible resource as water because nowadays everybody tells you to preserve water. If you do not preserve water, if you do not control the usage of water, then maybe in future generations there will not be any drinking water available to the future generations. We will have to face a lot of difficulty for water. So sometimes we can also classify water as an exhaustible resource because nowadays people waste water for many festivals and then celebrating holy you waste water. Then how to save water we teach you right. In earlier classes we have taught you turn off the shower caps, turn off the use only bucket water, then while brushing your teeth turn off the taps like that there are many uses. So coming to inexhaustible natural resources, inexhaustible means unlimited, they will never be completed or finished or they never go extinct. So examples of such things are sunlight and air, sunlight and air will be always freely available and it will never get exhausted. So now we shall go in detail about the natural resources, now we shall deal about coal. First topic is coal. Coal is a natural resource. Coming to the story of coal, approximately 300 million of years ago, there were many forests and wetlands. So due to the natural disasters like floods and earthquakes or any other thing, these forests got buried under the earth and got covered by the soil or mud. So due to the high pressure and extreme heat conditions, these vegetation or forests turned into coal. So this is the story of coal. Millions of years ago there were many forests and wetlands. But due to natural disasters like floods, these got buried under the soil. And due to high pressure and temperatures, these natural vegetation turned into coal. So coal is mainly made up of carbon. 
so the process of forming of forest due to this whole pressure of floods pressure due to floods is called carbonization the process of raw vegetation or forests converting into coal due to high pressure and temperatures is called carbonization the coal is mainly made up of carbon completely so what are the main uses of coal earlier now also in northern part of india engines run with coal steam engines coal engines then engines of the train then cooking purpose many people cook the food on the fire or coal that is for cooking purpose then thermal power for the production of electricity also coal is used then coal is a exhaustible resource would you understand by exhaustible resource as i told you earlier coal exhaustible means limited resource so coal is a example of exhaustible resource so coal is basically formed from all the dead remains of living organisms so when the living organisms go dead they are called as fossils the remains of the living dead organisms living organ dead organisms are called fossils when the trees die or the animals die they become fossils the remains of them become fossils so from the coal is formed from the dead remains of the living organisms like fossils so this is called a fossil fuel coal is called a fossil fuel so what are the other examples of fossil fuel they are coal gas if we cng compressed natural gas or petrol petrol is nothing but petroleum so what are the coming to the by products of coal what are the by products of coal what other things are formed from the coal there are three things formed from the coal known as coke coal tar and coal gas so how these are produced and what are the uses of these we shall deal now so always remember when coal is heated in the presence of heat coal produces carbon dioxide gas so coal is always made up of carbon in the presence of heat coal turn, converts into carbon dioxide gas it eliminates carbon dioxide gas so the first by product of coal is coke 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 is tough and porous porous means full of pores and tough is very hard coal is also very hard like stone and black in color you might have seen many times coal so the coke is also tough and porous and what are the uses of coke it is used in manufacture of steel you know no steel then extraction of metals metals you know no copper bronze anything can be metal gold is a metal all these so first by product of coal is coke coke is tough and porous black in color like coal the uses of coke is steel manufacturing and extraction of metals so coming to the next by product of coal it is coal tar in our general language here in andhra pradesh and telangana coal tar is also known as dabar it is used while laying roads coal tar is a mixture of 200 products 200 products together form coal tar it is blackish color very thick liquid and very unpleasant odor the smell is not good so there are many uses of coal tar they are also used for laying roads other than that they are used in plastics dyes then explosives then paints and photographic materials plastics dyes explosive paints and photographic materials so the last by product of coal is coal gas when the coal is converted into coke in the presence of heat coal, some gas is evolved right so that gas is called coal gas it is used in many industrial purposes so coal gas when it get converted into coal is converted into coke so at that time the gas evolved is called coal gas and it is used in the many industrial processes so now we have understood the story of coal and everything about coal now we shall move to the next process called petroleum